Hello beauties. So today is my midweek wash day. Normally I only wash my hair once a week, but being that the temperatures are starting to drop and we are starting to go into winter, I am going to try and wash my hair midweek as well just to make sure I keep it properly moisturized. Um, so this is actually my first time doing this in a minute. But for today's particular wash day, I'm just going to be co-washing with the Exotic Kool-Aid Sweet Papaya and Pineapple Infinite Conditioner. If you saw my last video, which I'll link somewhere up above, um, I did use this as just a regular conditioner, but you can use this as a co-wash, a leave-in, a detangler, a rinse out, and a pre-poo. So I will be co-washing with it today. I will also be using it as a leave-in and a detangler. So we're basically going to be doing a three in one with this product for this video today. And for my gel for my wash and go, I'm going to be using that exotic Kool-Aid Luscious Leche and Dragon Fruit Definition of Definition Jello. Once again, these are going to be my two secret weapons today. I want to see how my wash and go works whenever I use these two in conjunction with each other. So let's get right on into it. Which only took a few minutes, very, very quick. Um, and now I'm getting ready to detangle it. I did leave a little bit of the co wash in there um, because, as I mentioned, I'm going to use this as a detangler as well. So put a little bit more on here and today in particular since as I mentioned I did just wash my hair a few days ago I'm not going to be using a comb to detangle my hair I'm just going to be finger detangling it today just because I don't want to take my hair through the stress of using a comb again when I just washed my hair a few days ago so I'm going to use these nice little digits and just softly and simply go through my hair and I want to speed this part up okay so guys I had to <laughs> stop the speed to come and show you this I don't know if this is close enough for you to see it, but I'm literally just able to do like this. My hair is very tightly coiled and wound. Um, those are the type of curls that I in particular have. So being able to just do simply like that with my fingers is not something that happens very often. So definitely, definitely loving this conditioner as a detangler as well. Which I shouldn't be surprised because my other conditioner that I have by the main choice, they're a very popular three in one, but it's also a co wash, a leave in, a detangler. And I actually want to say that it uh, does something else as well. I'm not sure. Can't remember it off the top of my head. But that is that is one of my one of my holy grails as well. Um for all of that. So I shouldn't be surprised that this particular conditioner does the same thing, but I'm very, very happy because I'm able to get right through my curls. They are detangled and I'm not even doing much work. But I just wanted to come and show you guys that now I'm going to speed up the rest of this session and I will be right back when I'm actually going to do my wash and go. Okay, so I just went and rinsed the conditioner out as the detangler, and now I'm actually going to start on my wash and go. While I was rinsing it out, I did decide that I wanted to try a new method for my wash and go, and instead of shingling it, I decided I wanted to try the raking method and see if that works a bit better, or just to see if I may like it a little better, so... Now that I've sprayed it down, I'm gonna take it 
take about that much conditioner, put it all throughout my hair. Take a little bit more. I just did that much more. This conditioner smells really, really good, as I mentioned in my previous video. I love it. I really do. All right, so now that my hair has all of this leave-in in it, now I'm gonna respray it down again. Time to use this and get to work. All right, so taking about that much. I'm just gonna take a small section back here, which hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just gonna break the gel through like this. I'm going to do that and allow it to clump, allow my curls to clump naturally. I want to use a good amount of the gel just because I want to help them clump, but I'm going to allow them to clump naturally. And because that conditioner has a very good slip to it, and so does this, so does this jello. As you can see, I'm just doing it straight like this back here where my curls are very tight as well and they are still detangled and i did not use a comb at all just my fingers so good job on that main choice <laughs> so i'm just going to continue to do this all right so guys i'm going to turn around just so you can see this a little bit better which hopefully you can but this is a bit of a bigger section. And actually, instead of doing it so big, I wanna divide it into two. Just because I wanna make sure the hair gets fully saturated with the gel. I use about that much. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see that. Like, do, do you see the curls coming together? Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. All right, so guys, I'm going to work on the back of my hair off camera, just so I can concentrate a little bit more. And then when I get toward the front, I will come back and show you guys how that's looking. So I will be right back. So as you can see, I have already done one side with the Reiki method. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how I do this other side. So I'm gonna start from the back, trying to make sure, let's see, okay, so yeah. I'm gonna start from the back, and I'm just gonna do a small section, it's about this small, hopefully y'all can see that. I'm going to spray it down just because it's dried up a little bit uh, while I've been doing another side. Where the water to go? Take about that much. And just break it through. And allow them to clump. The curls that is and I do do it a few 
times just to make sure that each each of my curls have the same amount of product on them and then just let it go and it ends up looking like that so I'm gonna do the same thing again with this section I'm gonna start from the bottom Bring the water, rub the water through, take the gel, rub it in, and then rake. That is how my sides look, and I know that looks like a lot of product, but it is going to dry clear. So. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back and finish my middle and then I'll come back once I get to the front and show you guys how uh, I'm going to do that since my curls are a bit different in the front than they are on the sides and the back. So I will be right back. So I have done my entire head, had some sides and now I just have this little small section left in the front. Um, so I'm gonna finish this up on camera because I feel like I'm gonna have to do this front section just a little bit different than how I've been doing the rest of it. Cause as I mentioned, my texture at the front is a little bit different um, than my texture throughout the rest of my head. I have multiple textures in my hair. My hair is really tightly wound around the sides and the back and then in the crown and toward the front. Um, it still it's still coils. Well, it's a mix of coils and curls, I guess you would say. But, oh, I got that in my eye. Okay. Um, so, but this particular section up here at the front is a bit looser than even what's in the middle. And it always has been. And when I first went natural a few years ago, I honestly thought that I may have had heat damage at the front of my hair, just because whenever I was straightening my hair before I went natural, I hardly, if ever, used heat protection. Like, not ever. So I honestly thought it was because I had heat damage, but even when, even when I first cut my hair really, really low a few years ago, the front texture of my hair was still looser than the rest of my head. It curled, but it just wasn't, it just had some, some of it was a little bit looser, so. I guess that's just the texture, how it is at the front of my hair. Um, it's mostly like in this front section where it's like that, but yeah. So as you can see, I did put some water in. Now I'm just raking the gel through. I'm trying to make sure I get it on each strand. And then take it, basically make sure I shingle it through in some sections. All right, so. Just gonna, just gonna repeat that all over of this last little front section. Mm-hmm. 
And I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what I was talking about. Where it's a bit looser here in the front than it is in other sections. Now, granted, I don't recall my hair in the front being as loose as this particular section has been in the past. I feel like my texture may have changed a little bit here in the front since moving to Texas because of how hard the water is. I'm not sure just because I don't ever recall it being this quite loose in this particular section. It was always more so right here in the front in the middle. So not sure what may be going on with this because as I mentioned it has always been looser but it has not always quite been as loose as it's been right here. So I'm working on nursing that back to health a little bit or it could just be that it's changed and it has nothing necessarily to do with the water quality here. It just could be that it's changed. But either way, that's just how it is right now. So I'm going to finish up these last two sections right here. I'm going to split it into two. And then I may actually split these two into two again, um, just so I can do it in smaller sections. And I'll place this back in a little pony so it won't be in the way. But yeah, I'm going to split these last two into two. And I will come back and show you guys once I have finished everything. So, my hair is now all finished. As you can see, the front, sides, and the back. So, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to come back and... Excuse me, guys. My lips are chapped. I'm going to come back and show you guys the final results. What I can say in trying this new method of raking instead of doing shingling, it cut down on my wash and go time by a lot. Probably more than half, I venture to say. Because normally when I shingle, as you have seen, and if you haven't seen my shingle video, I'll link it somewhere up above. Please go check that out. Um, but with my shingle method, I have to go through and do each curl, you know, twirl around my fingers in order to form it. Um, especially in the back since my hair is shorter back there, of course. Um, but in me doing this raking method, it cut down on my wash and go time by a lot. So I'm very interested in seeing what the results are going to look like once everything dries. So... I will be back to show you guys the final results as soon as my hair dries. All right, guys. So it has been a few hours and my hair has completely dried. Uh, and these are my final results. My hair has shrunken up as much as it is going to shrink and it's done. And guys, I definitely must say I am a big, huge fan of this new method that I tried, the raking method. And I'm definitely going to be doing that from now on instead of shingling. Um, not only did it cut down my wash and go time more than half, as I mentioned earlier, but I believe I got much better results. Um, and my curls are much more true to form um, in this method than when I've been doing the shingle method as of lately now that my hair is starting to grow out a bit, especially in the back. Um, but a few important things, or not but, but a few important things I also want to mention is um, not only did this method work very well for me, but the products in conjunction worked great as well. Um, I was able to try the conditioner three different ways. Um, the co-wash with it. I did it as a detangler to finger detangle my hair and I use it as a leave-in. Um, and in conjunction with that jello, they worked very well together. Um, there's no sticky residue to my hair. It has a nice hold to it, but my hair is still soft. It's shiny. It smells glorious. And it did a really great job of defining my curls. So not only am I sold on these products, but I'm also sold on this new method of doing my wash and go. 
with that being said i hope you guys really enjoyed this video of me showing this new method and trying this conditioner um three different ways and how i used it the last time and don't forget to like this video comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace out